you know, if you were to watch cable news, any of the networks, they get viewership and make money by focusing on conflict. But if you just look at social media and cable news, you can come to believe that that's all there is. And that's, that can be really suffocating and can be really demoralizing and it can lead you to lose, lose faith in institutions and in other people. The question is, is there another place? Is there a fertile field of issues where once you think about them, you're like, somebody should do something about that. And you guys on the left see that and you guys on the right see that. And we could all work together and do that. The uneasy political climate of America has definitely trickled into the university system. People, you know, protest and, and have a really great perspective, but then after that, there's not an effort from the rest of the community to say, like, why do you feel this way and how, like, how can we, like, gather around this issue and, and tackle it. A lot of times people on campus aren't even willing to have the discussion and if they are it's um, motivated to you know, beat the other side. Sometimes in politics the, the, the instinct is to talk and to try and sort of change the other person's mind. But what I say to the students is that persuasion is 90% listening and in the Beyond Partisanship class that's a basic uh, strategy which is let's create spaces where we can just listen to the other people so that if we want to work together we have a better way of understanding how to do it effectively. We're at this awesome university that provides us with so many opportunities but the question is what do we do with those opportunities not just for ourselves but for the people around us. We want to push Michigan students to think more than just like the multiple choice test. Think about like real issues, think about real things that matter to people. Like why is the person next to you so upset when they hear this? And why are you maybe thinking the other way? We assign students roles of people who are involved in certain types of public policy issues and you have to come to class prepared to be that person. I was very surprised how people were able to actually take the opinions of other people. I didn't think I could do it. I didn't think, you know, my classmates could. We really have been able to have the discussions that a lot of people aren't having, and we've been able to learn from each other. There were all kinds of things that people from the right and left had in common, common aspirations. And once people realized that, and they realized that it was kind of safe to have a rigorous conversation with uh, people from the other side, the room really turned. I mean, it was really, you know, people were like, well, well, how would this work, and how do you see this? The beauty of the issues that we chose is that a lot of them are issues that most people agree on are a big problem and they just want to implement change. After we had this long list of issues, we identified types of speakers that we would want to bring in who could inspire the students to say, well, here's how we really do it. We kind of alternated different sides of the aisle each week. So we would see, you know, someone from the left, someone from the right, and occasionally they'd be able to sit down together. How have you seen people being affected by housing insecurity in your communities and how can we as students help those people? We don't have enough affordable housing in, in the United States. We have enough space, but we don't have enough good quality housing. You can get involved on all levels, but you got to get involved. You have to be a joiner. You have to get involved in your local government. When Beth Myers can inspire this room, and then all, all these students who are left of center sort of rush the stage afterwards just to thank her for being there and for inspiring them, I mean, that's like incredible. This class kind of pushed me to think, a little bit about like, how would I want the world to be different in 10 years and then what would I need to do as an individual to make that happen. I think it's starting a conversation and I think that's how all change starts. You have students who see policy issues they care about, who see um, problems in the world and you know classes like this teach them how to be productive. Students really appreciated the opportunity to be in this situation, to be at this time when I think if they looked at the news, they'd say, actually, it's all polarization, everything's divisive, um, and you know, there's this like, no, you can be really smart and really energetic and really constructive and work with people who are totally unlike you and do amazing things. Uh, I think people really, a lot, a lot of our students really needed to hear that.